Hello everybody, for today's project you will need a clutch or a bag made out of PVC preferably. Uh, it's going to stick better on it. You will also need some comic book pages or book pages or pictures that you like. Also we will be using some Mod Podge or you can use an alternative to it. I'm going to show you how I make mine in a short time. Finally, you will need some paint brushes as well as a work surface that you don't mind being messed up. This makes an alternative to Mod Podge and make your own. Uh, Mod Podge is not necessarily easily found depending on where you are, especially if you're in Europe. Um, it's an American thing. So I'm using some PVA glue as my base, knowing that Mod Podge is made out of PVA glue anyway. So it's very easily found in any craft store, quite cheap, cheaply. And I'm going to mix it with some wood varnish on a clear finish. And it seems to work for the moment, but until I find a better alternative to wood varnish, I'll be using this. And if I'm not happy with how strong it is on my, on my bag, I'll be using clear, uh, pure clear varnish on it after to seal it off. So two parts of PVA for one part of wood varnish seems to work. Alright, so it's time to start gluing. We'll glue the picture on the edge all around the bag first. That way it will give you a cleaner and crisper finish. So to start, we'll apply glue on either side of the bag on the edges first. Set a picture on it, then apply another layer of glue on the top of it. Make sure it lays flat before you move on to the next picture. You'll have air bubbles so you can push some away but don't worry too much about it. It will flatten out as it dries. Alright so once the edges are done let it dry for a bit. It will make it easier for you to manipulate your bag. Also it will enable you to lay it flat on one of its side while you're gluing picture on the other side. So then you can start by gluing pictures on the front of the bag. Once all of this is dry you can flip it and do the same process on the back. Once everything is dry again you can apply another coat or two of Mod Podge, varnish or glue whatever you're using to do this bag and that way you'll, you'll make sure everything is sealed off. looks like when it's finished. So it looks like it's been plastified uh, and it's still quite flexible as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can see on it but I have a few hair bubbles on it and I guess that's because it's, it's flexible on shoes or other stuff that are stiff it won't happen so I would say add something quite stiff inside and then you can push the air bubble out. Uh, that being said, I kind of like the result. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very short tutorial and if you like it, just give me thumbs up somewhere down and you can subscribe for more videos as well. And also you can leave me comments down below and if there is anything that you'd like to see any suggestion or any uh, craft or DIY you'd like me to try, uh, but feel free to leave me a comment as well. So, see ya!